All right, we're up and running, boys. Uh, and there should be... Yes! Okay, great, great, great. We are really up and running. Uh, I.E. You can change... Wait, do I have my shit turned on? Yes, I do. You can change the quality now. Oh, shit, my mic might be a little bit too loud. Let's decrease it just a little bit. Cool. Uh, let me know how loud or quiet or anything like that anything is that didn't make any sense hold on i have to adjust a bit more all right right there right there it's gonna fucking peak ah, let me know if my mic is too loud i increased the setting because i found that uh it was a bit too quiet especially during the last demon souls playthrough i did it let's get it to a nice yeah there we go that should be okay <sighs> Welcome everyone. I have a ton of people to thank who have subscribed. Uh, let's see. I think this is my name. Eighty-two. Yeah. This is my name. There's two. This is my names. <laughs> like and Beast ninety-two. Evil British guy. Jake man. T R B twenty-one and Faris Alal. Faris Ali. Farisal Ali, that took me a while to get. Welcome everyone, welcome. Are we actually up and running? I think we are. Um, this is a strength build for Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls Trace, as they say. I think I'm going to make like an appropriate character. Uh, Gandalf Fahir, thank you for, for the follow. Them YouTube people coming through with the follows. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's go for... Fire gem? All, all of these are shit, though. Uh, divine Blessing, fuck it. Hey, 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 Kirky. What's up? 61 followers now. Listen, I don't know what the status is. I've done the little thingy. Uh, the affiliate setting thingy. But it says that I still need to be approved or like not everything is like approved fully. So we'll see what happens. We will see. We're going to make it very burly. Burly upper body. Uh, voice is okay. Doing well, doing well. <laughs> okay. Does that actually do anything? <laughs> I don't think I don't think it <laughs> Oh Dark Souls. There should be like a thing to yeah, muscular. Nightbot coming through once again. Already coming through. Nobody's even here yet, but Nightbot based god. Uh, I named this character Giganta, uh, named after an obscure DC comic books character. Fuck, I just slipped off my chair. Uh, which one? This one is okay. Here's the thing, I've now transitioned officially to a full gamer because I bought a proper, like, real gaming chair, uh, which I'm sitting on right now. Actually, the only reason I bought it is because of these armrests, which fold up. Because, listen, if you play guitar, or bass, or any kind of stringed instrument, you know the struggle of practicing on a chair. Uh, it just, shit just never works, because unless you're like a ukulele player, you're going to be bumping into the armrests constantly. Uh, and that's just not good. So, yeah. Uh, I got a proper gaming chair. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> uh, something... Something edgy. The three... Yes. Uh, the three stripes are like claw marks. That's like the real edgy shit. 
put it on the side of the face. Hell yeah. Rotate it a little. Wait, can you not rotate? Hell yeah, you can. Okay, make it move down. Well, actually, let's fine tune this shit. There we go. There we go. Welcome, everyone, by the way. No, it's not okay. Alright, we're good. I think that's... I think that's good to go. Yeah, we're going with the knight. This is gonna be, as I said, this is gonna be a challenge run. Quote-unquote. Apparently, uh, these types of builds are really OP in Dark Souls 3. So I'm not expecting too much of a challenge. One thing I am setting for myself as like a personal thing is I'm going to be full fat rolling throughout this entire thing. So I'm hoping the knight fat rolls. I think... No, she does not. Well, shit. <laughs> no weapon, just fist punching. Yeah. We're going to be here till next year if I do that. Fuck, I really thought the knight starts off fat rolling. But that's maybe only in the other games. Uh, it's all good, though. I don't, I'm not... I'm not picky. Uh, we'll, we'll be fat rolling here soon enough. Okay, so... Let me rephrase what I was saying. As soon as I have the ability to fat roll, I will be fat rolling. Yeah. By the way, how's the volume every and everything? Hopefully my mic is not too loud. I really did increase it because especially when I re-uploaded these streams to YouTube, I noticed, especially on the Demon Souls playthrough, that my commentary was a little bit quiet. And, you know, hopefully you guys are watching these videos for the commentary as well as the gameplay. So I thought I would increase my own babbling a little bit. It's all, all right. Cool. So yeah, again, we'll see about this affiliate thing. I don't know if you have the ability to sub and all that just yet. I don't think so, because I don't think I'm... Oh, hey. I don't think I'm approved yet. Fully. It's in the works. It's in the works. So, anyways... I don't even know how this shit works. Uh, it's still early days for Twitch for me, you know. Still working this out. There are some things I need to set up now, you know, now that I've got this. Fuck, I'm like bragging like an asshole, I feel like, uh, with this affiliate thing. Uh, there are some things I need to set. For example, like a channel banner and a trailer. Hold on. Okay. Eat shit. This is the sickest parry of all time. Yeah, I had a haircut. Finally. We we talked about this in the last stream, right? Uh, my place opened up, finally. I was so happy. I was like, hell yeah. Uh, so I went yesterday. Like, we are really... Not to, you know, always talk about COVID, but we kind of, it's kind of the topic at hand. We're like really kind of opening up now. Uh, I think most places are opening up. So, that's good. I was out, I was f out of the city, like my city, for the first time. Uh, you know, not going to Budapest, but actually going somewhere else. On a little trip, took the dog out. I'll post it on Instagram later. Because uh, it was so good, like, not being here. Or not going to the two places that are close to my house. Which are good, but, you know, still. You know how it is. Anyways, before I accidentally use the one divine blessing I uh, got for myself, <laughs> let me let me de-equip. 
Okay. Oh, by the way, now you guys should be able to change the... As I said at the start, you should be able to change the quality of the stream now. Uh, I'm running on 1080p, but... You know, as we were discussing, not everybody is able to run 1080p streams. Am I about to get killed? No, I'm not. Because healing is OP in this game. You got it this time? Welcome. Welcome, Dean. Oh shit, I forgot he explodes like this. Okay, let's not try let's try and not die to the first boss of the game. Shit, I died to him. God damn it. Oh well. That was bound to happen one of these days. Mm. I'm like too much in a Demon Souls mode. Like I'm playing like I'm playing Demon Souls. Yes, she did. She got to pop in every once in a while. Uh, oh yeah, you don't lose HP. I'm so used to losing HP every time I die. That in this game you don't lose. Actually, nothing happens in this game. Wait, no, you do lose a little bit of HP, don't you? Yes, you do. It just doesn't show it like it does. Anyways, I know what I did wrong. Like, I'm not stupid. It's just... I didn't attack him when he was transforming. I was reading chat. Not that I'm blaming chat. I mean, this is going to be a no-death playthrough anyways, so... We're just getting started early with the no death. Yeah, I think like most people are okay with 1080. But I gotta get into like a blocking mode instead of a uh, yeah. Cause if I'm gonna be fat rolling, there's not gonna be too much. Like I'm not gonna be rolling. I gotta get into the habit of just blocking shit. Cause that's like the that's like the tactic to go for. Oh, you do. I'll I'll do that. I'll make sure to do that. I actually I haven't played Daughters of Ash since then. I'll get back to it. Yeah, you do lose a little bit of age and P. But it's whatever. Man, this game looks so much better than Demon Souls. It's quite a contrast. Not that I'm like roasting Demon Souls. The game can't help itself that it's 11 years old. But still. That game looks a little bit dookie. But again. Fully okay. You gotta do it, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Aidsmo, what's up? Aidsmo subscribed with the Prime subscription. Thank you very much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. A Twitch Prime. I can't believe I'm actually seeing those words on my very own computer screen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, before we... Okay. You know what's up. You know what's up. We're gonna be hella pumping up strength. And when we'll need... Uh, which one is the... Which one? Yeah. I, I forgot how this game works. Physical defense. And equip load. Thank you. This should be a good one. Again. As I promised. As soon as we can get into the fat rolling mode. I'm going to be fat rolling. 
going to be fat rolling like a motherfucker. By the way, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, when you subscribe with Twitch Prime, was there like a little ding or like notification on stream? Because I have it set up. Unless something doesn't work. If it doesn't work, I'll look into it on Streamlabs. Because I have it. Hey Fry, what's up man? Getting on good. Uh, no death run so far. I'm trying to wing to the camera. No death run. You know how it is. How we do with them no death runs. Uh, I read, I... Okay, okay. It might be that. Hopefully it plays again. Yep. Strength it is. Uh, strength and heavy weapons and all that. So I gotta figure out like the quickest way to... Uh, like a big ass shield that I can get. We'll see what she sells. She don't sell no big ass shield. Halberd, that's kind of a strength. Nah, it's not. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's eight. Just checking my armor. God. Navigation. Okay, this is heavier. Hey, hey, Dallas, what's up? Doing good, doing good. How's it going for you guys? I feel like hold on one just gotta like okay that's a little bit too much in my face okay I think we got it taking it easy glad everybody's doing good what a boy. I just pointed down at him on accident. My bad. We're gonna allot this bitch. What do you sell? Do you sell sh No, you don't sell anything in this game. Uh, anyways, listen. I'm trying to find my way the quickest way to like uh, again like a big ass weapon don't know I could go for the great axe I am taking weapon suggestions uh, I don't have anything uh, thought out you know whoops <laughs> do you think did you think I was gone forever man nightbot fucking what a savage. What a savage. Nightbot is... I think so as well. The greatsword might be like the thing to go for. Like the standard greatsword. There is the dragon bone smasher. Although the problem is the dragon bone smasher sucks in this game. Uh, from what I remember. I used it on my very, very pl first playthrough. And I remember it not being too good. Uh, yeah. But I might be mistaken. Go kill Dancer straight away. I wish I had that kind of skill. But the boy doesn't. I will admit... I'm probably the scrubbiest at this game out of all the Souls games. Uh, I don't know why. But hopefully this is the playthrough that changes it. Greatsword? Okay. We're going Greatsword then. Fuck this jump. Hold on. Let me get my F Mario on. I said it like that on purpose. My Mario. Man, I'm just playing Mario Kart instead of normal. <clears throat> Listen, I'm an Oli Olympic level 
the distance jumper I'm not turning enough we got this this is the easiest shit you can do in this game I just want the flask shard honestly hell yeah first try you know how it is DOA Oh, the bonfire, the bonfire was f fuck. That was, you know, I wasn't laughing. I'll just say that much. I especially wasn't laughing after. You know what happened. But anyways, tomorrow is the day. Whoops, doesn't matter. Wait, that kills? Oh, that didn't seem like that big of a drop, did it? Hold on. YouTube Rewind. This is Daughters of Ash again. It doesn't matter, because... <laughs> oh, I'm hoping it puts my souls down here and not up. It's going to put it up there. The motherfucker. Yeah, it wasn't 10 minutes, though. I've been officially streaming for 21 minutes and 42 seconds. So, yeah. Even though we spent uh, 10 minutes in character creator making Giganta, who is our fair maiden on this fine Dark Souls 3 journey. The name popped into my head because I was looking at like a list of obscure DC villains. Because it came into my mind when I was thinking about Injustice 1. How in... This is gonna seem like I'm stoned or something. But you know how in Injustice 1 there's that stage where in the background you have these two giants fighting and one of them is a chick? And I was like, who the fuck is that? Because I don't know much about DC. And I looked it up and her name is Giganta. And her power is turning big. I was like, damn. Anyways. Fucking hell, again! What... <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is This is going fa this is going well so far. Not taking off the armor cuz I'm working towards fat rolling. And if I take off the armor, that's the exact opposite. GG's. GG's gravity fucking gravity. I cannot believe it. G to the G. Anyways, finish my thoughts. <laughs> oh, come on, let me through. This is like... That fog gate is like an extra troll, you know. It's like sitting at a red light. It is sitting at a... It's like sitting at a red light. Um... Fucking hell, this tree. Listen. Maybe we'll get out of the tutorial today. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Fully concentrated on this. Not thinking about Giganta. Thinking only about this. Yes. I think I'm gonna make it. Don't bully Nightbot, my only employee. I'm HR as well. I have to like do a write up if Nightbot comes complaining to me about how he's being mistreated, you know. Uh, covetous. Anyways. That's the easiest thing I've done in this game so far. Uh, yeah, yeah, this dude. Yeah, whatever. The question is, do I use my one... Oh, I don't have... I thought I had a humanity. I just call them humanities. You know what I'm talking about. Human effigy. I reinforce the stis. Alright, boy. Let's actually get going. It only took us... 
like 25 minutes to actually get to the game. We're going to the high wall of Lothric. Hmm. Going well so far. It does, but very little. Like... Very, very little. How do you get the greatsword in this game? Let me just check. Did I just get a notification? No, I didn't. I thought I got a notification for my own stream. Dark Souls Trace. It's loading anyways. Greatsword. Great swords. I mean great sword. Uh, location. Looted from a corpse on top of a broken bridge in Farron Keep. That's all I need to know. Farron Keep, easy enough to get to. We can beeline it straight there. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can, can I, can't I like, like put all this shit on to try and make myself fat roll? I think I can. Once I get like, uh, like hella random items, I can just put it on. You know. Because fat rolling in this game happens at... 75% I think and I really gotta get into that habit oh yeah there's a boy up there I am playing am I playing offline oh it's at 70 okay So let me do just quick maths. What's 70% of 56? I have no idea. I'm shit at maths. It's quite a lot though. Oh, that parry. How are you not dead? Listen, from now on out, this is gonna be like the most expert level Dark Souls playthrough you've ever seen. Even though some dude just did 39, thanks. Thanks for the math's help. Even though some dude just did uh, the entire. Not the entire series, but. He did uh, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. No hit, no level. I think. Or was it no damage, no levels? Something crazy. I was like, this is just... At this point, I think these boys are like purposefully roasting my skills at this game. He's like, no hit runs. Does that even add any significant weight? It doesn't even add any, like at least, again, not, nothing significant. Might as well take that shit off. Oh, if you drop the great app. <laughs> Told you. Listen. Yes, thank you. That's all I wanted. We fat. What's the stats on this thing, though? 32 so can I not use it nah it's all good we'll keep it equipped I fell to my death uh, was it twice it, it, it was twice yeah all right Giganta is back in action just slaughtering these civilians but they're hollows so it don't matter I'm so happy right now that prediction was out of this world
I should play more lottery. Apparently, my prediction skills are top notch. Platforming skills less so. But anyways, no mentions of my deaths in this no death playthrough. I'm so happy about this fat rolling. This is again like this is the crux of this challenge. If I'm playing the easiest build apparently, which they say uh, strength builds are like the easiest builds in this game. If I'm playing the easiest build, I might as well add some challenge to it by being fat. Exactly. <laughs> True. I'm not gonna go in there, there's no point. Okay, wait, how does this dragon work? He breathes fire here as well, doesn't he? I think so. Yeah, he do. He do, he do. Okay. But what about winning at gambling and winning at love? That's like... The best combination, isn't it? Actually, I tend to get... What's the most I've ever won on scratch cards? Scratch lottery? I think like 10,000 forints was the most I've ever won, which is like... How much is that? It's like 40 bucks. I It's, pre it's pretty good. Felt pretty good. Uh... Paid for like three week three weeks worth of morning coffee at the canteen. Uh, back when we could still go to the office. Boy, I forgot I was fat rolling. <laughs> I legit forgot I was. I'm really slow. Cause you know what you do in this game. Like this game is panic rolling city. Uh. Like, panic rolling is like the main, like, shtick of this game. Because you can just do it very easily. So not being able to, like, anytime flip away like a uh, idiot is going to be, like, real difficult to get used to. Even though I'm basically taking no damage. So this is going to be a different ass playthrough. I can promise you that. I'm too much on the Demon Souls parrying. Like, vibe. I wipe too much with that Demon Souls parrying mechanic where it's like really easy to parry. Block that shit. Told you. That's how physics works. Tiny ass shield can block the giant attacks of a fire breathing dragon. What the hell is that hitbox? He reaches all the way there. I did not. Did not know that. We are, yeah. You know how it is with them Souls games. Okay, wait. Does this have 100% physical block, this shield? I think it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Hey, you, you've never parried a bull before? What kind of life are you living? A Dark Souls 2 hitbox. I don't even mention that. <laughs> We love them, Dark Souls 2. What the hell? <laughs> okay, that boy is flying. Where is the knight? Weird. Well, if they're gonna let me get to the bonfire, I'll get to the bonfire. I'm not too picky. 
Listen, do I have... No, I still don't have a human effigy. Or what is it called? It's not a human effigy. What is it called in this game? Okay, hold on. This assassin needs to go. Because this boy... Ember, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting all my humanity items confused. Shit, bitch. They, they, these guys have a cool armor set. That might be something worth considering. Oh man, do you feel slow though in this game when you're fat? It's definitely, you can tell in this game that that's not the intended mechanic or like way of playing. Like at least they have poise. Because as we discussed, you know, Demon Souls suffers from having no poise. Which is like real bad. Oh man, that weapon is pretty good. It's tempting not to go for a long sword. But we're not going to go for a long sword. It's weighing bitches. Speaking of bitch weapons, the mail breaker. Although they improved that, that in this game, didn't they? I don't even know why I'm coming down here. We don't have the key yet. Yeah. I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> Anyways. Let's go back up. From here on out, this is going to be easy, let me tell you. Whoops. Fuck. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to parry this fool. God damn it. Okay. Need to get my dog as an emote? I could. You're right. Pixel dog. Like, you know, I have my little pixel thingy that's like my profile pic and all that. Need to make a pixel version of my dog. Yeah. Don't worry, that's a, that's a thing of the past though. We don't talk about that. That's like a redacted CIA document, you know. It, it's like scratched out with black marker all over the place. Oh, come on. Am I going to be able to like even catch crystal lizards? Yes, I can. I was like real worried for a second. So yeah, that's a redacted confidential document. If you look back on that episode, all you see is like the screen going static when that moment happens. You just accidentally almost rolled off the edge, whatever. We don't talk about the deaths. Yep, yeah, it's like Fight Club. Exactly. So anyway, to do a do na a no death run, to be fair, uh, actually, let's not go. Let's not be stupid. Let's not go that way just yet. Let's for once be smart. Go down here, get the shortcut. Hell yeah! <laughs> Glad people are never gonna let that go. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you're here. To be fair, that should haunt my channel for the rest of the days. This dude even thicker than me. Oh, I need to get this armor set. I need to get that thick boy armor. Okay, I'm not paying attention. Listen. Come on. Just let me backstab this. Thank you. I'm going to do it. We're drinking, boys. Uh, what's everybody's favorite game with a dog companion? On top of my head, I can only think of Dragon Age Origins. There was a... There's that Call of Duty game. Which one is it? It's the shitty one that nobody likes. Ghosts, I think. That one had a dog. Uh, but that game sucks. The one I can think of, really, off the top of my head, there's a... Um, it wasn't Fatal Frame, but it was one of these Japanese PS2 horror games. And it had Fallout 4, and had that one has as well, a dog. But there was this Japanese horror game where you had a dog accompanying you. I cannot for the life of me remember what the actual game was. Again, it was not Fatal Frame, but it was kind of like the same type of, same type of deal. Anyways, that's all I wanted. Seriously, what's chasing me? Nothing. anybody remembers what that game is let me know amnesia yeah amnesia I didn't find amnesia to be that scary uh, it's good though outlast though fuck outlast seriously um, that game I don't do well with that game. Even I'm okay with horror games, most of them. Like Out Outlast has that kind of The thing I don't like I can take horror and jump scares and all that. The thing I don't like is like the feeling of being chased. And you know, Outlast is all about being chased and you're being completely defenseless. And it's like, yeah, I didn't do too well with that. But PT though, PT is godlike. Even though, oh wait, that boy respawns? I didn't know that. Whatever. We'll get the item on the way back. Even though, again, I think I've talked about this before, right? That I've only played PT at a friend's house who had it. I don't know if he still has it, though, on his hard drive. That shit is probably worth quite a lot. The dick stabbing, yes. That, that, that is also not the best part of Outlast, I will admit. But that's in the... The dick stabbing part is in the DLC, right? I think. You get your finger cut off in the main one. And then you had Outlast 2. Oh, you know what's a really good horror game? Uh, Siren Blood Curse. It's an old one. It was initially released episodically. I think it was like one of the first episodic games I can remember. And... What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's above us. The 
I was like, what is making all that noise? Oh, MDK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, MDK. But that's, you play as the dog, though. And that's a robot, to be fair. But yeah, you play as the dog in that game. It's early, MDK is like early 2000s. 2004, I think. By the way, if you want to play a good game, pick up MDK. It's like really cheap. I think there's a remake of it now. Yeah, with updated like graphics and shit. Yeah, there is. I'm pretty sure. That's a childhood classic. God, okay. I thought I was having a stroke. But no, there's a giant smudge on my glasses. I was like, damn, is my vision fading? But like... I'm about to like stroke out on stream, but no. I wasn't it. Look at that. Look at his movement. Fucking Korean backdashing. You know what? The broadsword is heavier than the longsword. I'll switch to it. Yeah, MDK had a playable dog. What else? There's really not many. I think it's because... It's like, do you make the dog invincible? Then it's like kind of pointless. But then if you kill the dog, people are going to freak out. I just fucked myself, didn't I? I think I did. What a boy. Look at this shit. Okay, I thought... I thought we would... Hmm. It is, yeah. Uh, it's like that. Kinda. Hmm. That was interesting. Yeah. But then, of course, on the other end, you have shit like the chick from Resident Evil 4. Who constantly... Like, you have to constantly babysit. It's really difficult. Like, I will admit... Making a constant NPC companion, you know, like the one who you have to ex the types you have to escort, that's like one of the hardest things, honestly. Because it's like, again, if they're invincible and they like don't interact with the environment at all, it's gonna seem really fake. Ashley, yeah, that's her name, the president's daughter, yeah. But then if you make them vulnerable, you get this issue where the player constantly has to... What the... Okay. Are you kidding me? That hitbox was... That was a fucked up OTG. I didn't even have a chance to block. That was fucked up. I'm pissed about that. I really... They really got me as I was getting up off the ground. Which is unfair, I think. They hit me with the wake up. During the wake up. I think I'm more CRPGs, but they. Oh. Yeah, exactly. If you just make the dog or any animal companion, like the party member. Yeah. It's not easy, like I said. I'm gonna hella sneak by. Breath of the Wild, unfortunately I never got around to it. I have a Switch. The thing about Breath of the Wild is it never goes on sale, I swear. The game, like, it's like the first Switch game ever released. And I look on the... Fucking Nintendo store and it's still 60 bucks. 
or like the equivalent of 60 bucks. I'll get it eventually. I'll get around to it. Um, going on holiday, end of June, for a week. So I'll need like Switch games. Although I have Binding of Isaac, which is like the biggest time sink you could ask for. I know it's a really good game. Pretty much everybody who has played it has said that it's like brilliant. Oh, did you see that, that timing? Whoa! Whoa! Oh okay, yeah, I didn't know this. That's actually a cool R2. It even steps forward like that a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I can't believe I lost my souls. Whatever. Ain't gonna shed any tears. My last year's holiday game for me was Final Fantasy IX. Which I actually didn't get around to finishing. I should go back to that game. Final Fantasy IX is fantastic. Is this better? It's not better. Okay. Anyways. Gotta get this boy out here. He's the fucked up one. He's the one that can like really kill you. So let's just lure him up here. Whoa. Okay. Dark Souls 2. He should be dead. Oh, there's another one. I didn't know there was another one. Okay, whatever. Halbert dude can get it as well. This is a really interesting R2. Oh, now we got both of them aggroed. Okay, that's exactly kind of what I didn't want. Thanks. Thanks, hit detection. Glad you have my back. I think the other one went. He left. All you gotta do is use that shield. I'm really interested what will happen when I get like a proper great shield. The first one I can think of is the eagle kite shield which is in the swamp but if there's any like great shields before that let me know I'll try to get it I don't like I'm not the biggest expert on the layout of this game I'm not as familiar with all the items locations as in the other games this dog is like melting into the ground God, I can't even talk melting into the ground I think that's all there is here. Yeah, we got back here. Uh, we'll pick up the item. Not the rapier, but the other item. This one. Finally going to be able to be embered again. Oh, hello. I think I'll go back. I think I'll use up all my shit. 
Interesting. Like, see if we can level up. I lost like 5k souls. Uh, I'm not exactly proud of that. But it happened. So we're a little bit behind on leveling. Come on. Oh man, I'm looking for, like I'm genuinely looking forward to this playthrough, honestly. Uh, it's always fun, you know, when you play a play style that you don't normally, like, do. Because, you know, of course the meta of this game is in general, like fast rolling and decks and again, all that. As I said, this is probably the most panic roll-ish Souls game out there. So, you know, we switching it up. Oh man, just stretching. This, this chair is good. It's not like I'm bragging about my gaming chair, but... Yeah, it's like it was a cheap one. I didn't go like all out. But it's just a chair, you know. It's here to do its job. Keep knocking into my mic stand. If that's like really ear rapey, I apologize. It's not my intention. Maybe I can like fold this one up a little bit. Yeah. Stop that happening. Level up the boy. So here's the deal, like... I need to keep some balance between... Having... Uh, vitality. Because I want, like, some... Like, badass... Big-ass armor. But then again, the other thing is... I don't want to be fast-rolling. It's going to be like a delicate balance, you know. Uh, I should have gone to Grey Rat, whatever. How's the matter? Or yawning. I had a pretty tiring day, I'll be honest with you boys. Again. Pretty much left at like 8. And I was like walking and I was at a lake and we walked around the lake with the, with the dog, had lunch and then came home. But it was like a good, it was like a th four hour walk. So it's pretty, I'm surprised I'm this energetic. No wonder I'm dying left and right like an idiot. Which of the Souls games including Bloodborne and Sekiro do you think has the most replayability? Uh, honestly... I think, like, just pure replayability value has to go to Dark Souls 2, I think. Just, like, the sheer amount of viable builds and weapons and, like, upgrade paths, different combinations of all that. Plus, the game is pretty open as well. I think, overall, replayability has to go to Dark Souls 2. Because the thing about Dark Souls 2 is that it sometimes has uh, questionable mechanics, you know. Which is why people kind of fuck shit on it. But I'm not a Dark Souls 2 hater. In fact, I really like Dark Souls 2. That's going to be an interesting playthrough once I finish Daughters of Ash. I want to move on to whatever the modded version of Dark Souls 2 is. There is one for that game as well. Just don't know what it's called. Dark Souls 1 is up there as well. It's just the thing is, like, 
just pure number wise numbers wise the fact that uh two has a shit ton of weapons it has like four viable magic systems uh again the game is pretty open it's not as open as uh some of the other ones but it's fairly open you know all these like add up to i think the most replayable because you can make like like stupid ass builds in Dark Souls to to like you can go for that weapon upgrade path. What is it called? Mundane, where you have to keep all your stats balanced. Or you could go for like you know fist runs. You can make the game more challenging, less challenging. It's kind of crazy, and of course the other end of the spectrum I think is probably Sekiro. Which I'd say has the least replayability. Bloodborne doesn't have good replayability either, I think. Just because of the like lack of weapons. The fact that your first... I don't know how much... Whatever percent of your game. Especially if you want one of the DLC weapons, for example. Like the first X amount of the game is going to be spent... With one of three weapons and this game this game has like a good variety it's just held back held back by being so linear i think Assassin's Creed bitch. Okay. Just going for backstabs. Oh wait, did I like poise break him or something? I think I did. Holy shit! Hold on. What the hell? Refined gem, Lothric Knight sword, Lothric Knight gauntlets, and Lothric Knight leggings. Boy. Switching to some fancy ass leggings. The Lothric Knight set is really good. Uh, oh, it's a dex weapon. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't exactly match color wise but it's all good <coughs> excuse me uh what should i do i need to get gray oh fuck it we'll get a gray rat later we're going to the boss it's gonna be loud as fuck this game is loud as fuck in general this is going to be interesting because this is like a really roll heavy boss. So it's going to be interesting in fatso mode like this. I have a spare Estus shard that I didn't use. It's because I haven't even been back to Firelink. Hey, the knight armor looks pretty cool. Giganta in action. This boy about to teleport out. He's coming through that Stargate portal. Holy shit. It's so loud. Whoops. Uh oh. Okay, we can fat roll him. Just stick to that booty. 
Wow, okay. Chill. God damn, this boss is loud. Just like the... The choir goes absolutely ham on this song. Like, this is like final boss level music. I think. Easy. I almost did kick him through the fog gate. <sighs> At least it was easy. E-Z. This boss is cr like the music to this boss is absolutely batshit. The Dark Souls 1 soundtrack, generally all the Souls soundtracks are good. This game, like, the highlights from this game are Prince Lothric's theme, like Lothric and Lorien's themes, and definitely the final boss music for this game is really good. Okay, 15. We're gonna get more endurance and strength. Hold on, 16 strength. Would that mean? Oh no no no! You need you need more than it's not half. Yeah, it's not half of it. Never mind. How many shards do I have? Three. So I could level up. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll go get what's his name. Bloodborne, definitely. Okay, it's 220 souls, it's not a lot. I think I'll stick, stick to this bronze sword until I get to the great sword. Bloodborne is, like, again, the final boss music. German's theme, amazing. It's so good. We made the Golden Sun soundtrack. I didn't know. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Golden Sun is a good game. I like that one. That Golden Soul. I mean Golden Sun. <laughs> golden Soul. That is a combination of the two games crossover. It's like a Scooby-Doo crossover. I don't know why I thought of that. Probably because there's a new Scooby-Doo movie out. And it sucks, from what I heard. Let's get this. Drop on this bitch. Yeah, it's called... I think it's called Scoob. But it's not good. That's the issue. You guys remember, like, I swear, I didn't, I didn't dream this, did I, when I was a kid, that there was a Scooby-Doo episode where they crossed over with Johnny Bravo. I'm like 90% sure that happened, and I didn't dream it. Pretty sure there was a Scooby-Doo Johnny Bravo crossover. Come on, guys. Yeah, okay. Good. Johnny Bravo. I liked I liked Johnny Bravo when I was a kid. That was funny. Especially since like that type of person exists. Yeah, Cartoon Network, yeah. Cartoon Network was the shit. And we had the other thing. That was like the real like Eastern European and Balkan things was Minimax. That was like the other one, the big competitor to Cartoon Network. And Nickelodeon as well, we had that. 
cow and chicken that was like you know the, i've i mentioned this before but you know like all those 90s kids show animators like the the people who made those shows like they pretty much said that they were like stoned almost all the time yeah they we had we had that yeah nickelodeon we had it the disney channel fuck that i didn't have disney channel that was weak shit Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes, we had Yu-Gi-Oh! That was the... The tree... Like, like, listen, here's the thing, like, here's the... The childhood, like... Timeline for me. Uh, first it was Pokemon. Ren and Stimpy, yes. Ren and Stimpy, perfect example. The, the big three were like Ren and Stimpy, Cow and Chicken, and... What was the other one? It was like a baboon and a weasel. Like a red weasel. I think so. That's was also, it. but like even Powerpuff Girls, you know, they had that devil thing that was called him. Yeah, it was weird. Anyways, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, here's like the breakdown of how it went. First, it was Pokemon. I was hella into that. After Pokemon, it was Digimon. I like Digimon. I personally like I like Digimon more as a kid. Then after Digimon we had Beyblade. And then it was Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, Digimon season 1, that was that was like the real shit. So yeah, Digimon, I remember like, how old, how old am I? I'm 26, I'm turning 27 in August, 93 is the year, 28, yeah, like people around that age, exactly, that's like the, I think that was the thing for everybody, like the timeline. Is there anything else I wanted to do? I don't think so. 24? Okay. So, like, almost the same, yeah. What else was there? Those those are like those were like the big ones. Uh, oh yeah, fucking this this was the, this was the real shit. Uh, goddamn, I think it was Minimax, which that was like a cartoon channel as well. For I don't know if the US had that. Slam Dunk, that one I don't know. Uh, Minimax had a fucking animated. Like, like a cartoon series of Les Miserables. Yeah, yeah. So Minimax is like kind of in like this region, like kind of Eastern Europe. I think it, I think it's a French channel. Pretty sure it's a French. Yeah, pretty sure it's French, but it like spread to all of Europe. But they had a fucking cartoon series of Les Miserables. And that shit, I hated that when I was a kid. Like, because, you know, like, it, that's a bit too adult, isn't it? I think that's a little bit too adult for kids. It's like a heavy book. You know, that this is an awesome scene, yes. It's an awesome scene to, that leads to that fucked up horizon. Wait, hold on a second. The horizon is not as fucked up as I remember it. There is no way they patched the horizon, right? Whatever. So anyways, 
And this Les Miserables series was like fucking 50 episodes long and they aired that shit non-stop. I was like going crazy sometimes when I was a kid during summer holidays, you know, when I was inside. What's on? Fucking Les Miserables again. Yeah, it's not good. Dog making a guest appearance again. <laughs> That's this is the like she's scared of something. That's the I'm scared of something, and I don't know how to react to bark. The other dogs are doing it as well. Around the hood. Yep, there's definitely... Hopefully I don't, I'm, I'm not about to get like robbed or something. Luckily you cannot get swatted here. Uh, this is a non-swat country. We have our equivalent. It's called Tech. Yeah, it's called Tech. T-E-C. But it's like, that's like some low tier shit. Compared to like... You know. This dude still has a butt for a face. And I know I'm standing on... Com like, he, he's staring at my... He's staring at Giganta's titties. Look at him. Like, I see you. Let's see what you're doing. There's no pattern on my shirt. You know. Glad I could help. Oh, Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't... I, I was never into Dragon Ball too much as a kid. I don't know. Like, you know, like some things just, like, elude you. It's like... Adult Swim, that was a thing. We didn't have Adult Swim though. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. The memes though I do know. I mean listen, I've played a bit of DBFZ. The fighting game, but... The biggest issue with DBFZ is the roster, I think. Uh, if you don't know about that game, it has like... It's like... Seven arc like... Seven different Gokus. Uh, which almost all of them play the same way. But that that is not like... I know there's like many different... Iterations of Goku. But... For a fighting game, that's like, yeah. Oh, Bloodborne was different? That's interesting. I mean, Bloodborne does have a different feel to it, the soundtrack, I mean. I can definitely tell. Interesting. Bloodborne has a dope, the dope est soundtrack, actually. Not just dope, but dope est. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> <coughs> mm. 
Damn. That was a cough. I feel like this area might be actually easier with a shield. Because these dudes are like all physical attacks. What's this item? I didn't even know there was an item back here. Just don't pick that up normally. It's a soul, so it's good. Do you see that strafe? It's an expert level avoidance. Wait, that shit is circling back. Okay, we need to be we need to be <laughs> Did you hear the scream I just did? And I was like some What the hell was that? Was it Don't tell me that thing was still chasing me. It's unbelievable. Cleanse the bastard's curse, that's what she says. Anyways, uh, I don't even know what happens if you come here earlier. These enemies are annoying, yeah. What the hell is over here? Oh, oh yeah, this is okay. I get it. It's all coming together in my mind. They just throw my shit, not my shit, but their shit at me. I think they just did. Man night, but it's so on point. Oh, you have to drop down. Come on. <sighs> Spacing. Definitely not. I'm going to be switching around. Uh, it's just... I don't have too much choice here. For sure, I'll be... Trying to get some dope armor. Like, I mean, I'm going to be switching to a great shield and the ultra great sword. That's kind of the the eventual theme of this run. It's a great shield, great sword. In terms of armor, we'll fashion something out. You know. Just gotta... Just gotta collect some choice you know even though I will admit that the knight armor in general looks pretty good onion bro armor maybe maybe onion bro but I was also thinking of the wing knight armor set that's like That's like, you know, you know, like, it has certain charms to it. But the onion armor set as well. Should I forget? There's no armrest on my left. Thick armor, exactly. That's the goal. What the hell? I always forget you can roll into these dudes. It's enough to stun them. Yeah, thick boy armor. 
that's the thing to go for. I have like, I don't know how many shards, so we're going back. When you don't know how many shards you have, you probably have too many shards that you haven't used. Anyways. <sighs> I have one. One is good enough. I'll take another Estus any day. What up? I like Grey Rat a lot. We were rescuing him, trying to rescue him in the previous game. Okay. Oh, uh, you don't sell anything, not yet. Okay, I'll keep my souls. For now, we can get going, you know. I feel like it's gonna be next stream where this playthrough is gonna get real interesting. Once I start getting my armor, you know, and all that. Not even armor, I mean my weapons. The first great shield I can think of is the eagle kite shield. Not Eagle Kite. Or is it Eagle? You know which one I'm talking about. It's like the first like great shield. Even though I think it doesn't have a hundred percent physical block. Man, that was so broken. Dark Souls 1. OG release before any patches. Where fucking um The Eagle Kite shield had a hundred percent physical block. And it had like insane levels of stability as well. It's pretty much the thing to go for. I abused the hell out of that on my first playthrough when I was a noob. Man, that looks pretty good. Just thinking of how far this game has come in terms of visuals from demon souls the castle looks pretty cool still don't know how this fool teleports out of here uh like he's trapped and he just straight up something sus going on down here it's probably nothing but oh this boy yeah oh shit you're way too fast man I really need that on that bone shard we're gonna be getting that pretty soon. From down there, actually. Hey, I never noticed that those two link together like this. Hey, that's pretty cool. Just somehow, like, didn't connect. In my mind. We can like sneak by. Told you. I 
We'll add that motherfucker to deal with as well. The knight. Okay, hello, poise. Like, this would be the perfect time to start working. Poise does work in this game, right? Like, I don't remember the latest update. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure it was said that they... It's been fixed. I know these larger weapons have hella hyper armor on them. But who knows? Maybe it don't. That does sound like it's gonna suck. Although, at that point, I will have like some big ass great shield and great sword. So, I'm just gonna put that up, you know. That is gonna suck. You're right. Listen. This is partly a challenge run, so I'm ready to conquer any obstacle like that. Hodrick, that's his name. He fat rolls as well, doesn't he? I don't know. Yeah, Blackfire Freed or whatever her name is. That's gonna that's gonna be interesting. Where is he? See, he's an asshole because he waits for you to get aggroed on by this enemy. Told you. See now he's What a motherfucker. Is he prog programmed like this, though? Okay, just come on. Come on. You are confused. Okay, that is a lot of bleed. Yeah, he is programmed like that. What a motherfucker. Typical invader. Okay, I'm about to get fucking bled. Eat shit. Alright. On to you now. Oh, you bleed as well. I forgot. Oh, shit. Damn. There was an annihilation. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That wasn't fun. That wasn't pleasant. Fuck it. We're going. We're going all out, boys. Speaking of hyper armor, and I need to lure this fool away. Oh, hello, Crystal Lizard. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, he's in the stance. Yeah, that's saw. You can't get that as a weapon, can you? It's not in the game. I remember correctly. What are you? F mm. I'm gonna heal in your face, bitch. It definitely improved his AI or some shit, cause this. I should have let him cast power within on himself. Yeah. Try to prevent healing in this game. Oh, 
Oh, that's unbelievable. I mean, he's draining the main vein. I.E. He's fucking himself by healing constantly. Eat shit. Those are some like that damn parries though. Damn parries. God tier PvP exactly. So we only do that on the Mr. Sketchhead channel. Like anything less than the greatest PvP action is not tolerated, you know. Anyways, let's level up. <sighs> oh shit, okay. Hmm. Or, I feel like I need more endurance for... I also need more strength. This is what we're gonna go for. Still fat rolling. It's the only thing that matters. Cool. Alright. We'll be here for a while longer. This area, the rest of this area is pretty okay. Just gotta get the bone shard. Uh, I don't know if I'll have try time for the tree. The tree is not that difficult. What the hell was that hitbox? He's gonna freak out. Oh no, he's dead. Damn. I think you can get this weapon, right? Pretty sure you can. It's not, not as good as it is here in your hands. Missile them bitches. I was gonna say, what am I gonna get fucked by a giant arrow? Oh god, wait! There's this many... D Hold on. That like caught me off guard. I didn't know there was that many of them there. Towards the back. Whatever. That's a fucked up amount of bleed. It's fucked up. So they're gonna get blasted. Told you. Fuck. God damn it. So anyways, I started blasting. I gotta make like a tactical retreat here. Wait for him to kill the rest of these schmucks. He's not very accurate. Go. 
Come on. Thank you. I think we good. Yep. I cannot believe it. He like shot into the building. That would be like a real fucked up thing. Exactly. There is enough like shockwave fallout that it doesn't really matter. Just blast it away. He's yeah, still pissed at me. I can hear him shooting. I can hear him blasting. The question is, can I be fast enough to do this? I think I can. Is this right here? A cleaver set, a cleric set, I mean. Ouch. Maybe I'm not fast enough to do this. I'm too thick. I also need to move, like, get... This is for sure gonna like push me off if I'm not careful. Okay. Are you seeing the level of plague? God, that fucking shockwave. That's a real motherfucker. Yeah, because when you're not fat, you can outrun the shockwave. I'm pretty sure. They don't normally get hit by those. It's all good. It's all good. We can just like make it straight back there. <sighs> it's not the game is not going to be easy like this. Uh seriously. Again, this game is like so built towards you being fast. I mean, look at that. Exactly. That's how we do it. Don't even mention it. I did pick up my souls, did I? I think I did. Fuck, there's so many of you. I can't roll away. This sucks. This is panic rolling fat roll edition. Motherfucker. Seriously. They do insane poise damage. Okay, we got this. Listen, this playthrough is gonna be a little bit brute-ish, you know. It ain't gonna be the most elegant. We're gonna be blocking like crazy, taking damage, panic rolling, all that. But that's kind of part of playing a strength build, isn't it? We'll say it's part of playing a strength build. Yeah. You know I'm gonna go back to the bonfire. It's that time. Listen, it's gonna it's gonna get better, I think. I'm hoping it will get better. IE we will get stronger. Oh, shit. I didn't know you were here. I'm really hoping we'll be able to get stronger armor. That there is stronger armor. And it actually, like, provides defense. Uh, 
Uh, I think that's worth going back for. It's about the level of thingy where I would say it's worth going back. We can get a level or two. I think it's just one. Yeah, we're gonna go for strength. Strength is the, really the thing to go for. I feel like straight since has the name of this playthrough. Uh, this is where it goes emo, but all you gotta do is just rest up. Cool. Let's go get this boss. Let's also remember to use the bone shard. Did I go to the right one? I think. I think I didn't go to the right one. No. Should have gone to the cliff underside. Well, actually there is shit to No, we'll get to the we'll get to the Is there a way to watch the twi Oh, th yeah, there is a way. Uh it's like a separate uh thingy. I have to set it up in my streaming software. I'll I'll g I'll get it organized for the next stream, and we can have it from there. You're right; it makes more sense for people watching to actually see what questions I'm answering. You can also do the less elegant method of just screen recording the chat replay and then editing it in, but again, there's a way to like have it already set up with OBS. This is going to be an interesting boss fat, <coughs> fat rolled. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. What up? Yorm shield. I'll take that. I think that might be a good one. It's a cool looking shield too, Yorms. From what I remember. So yeah, that's a good suggestion. Alright. We'll get it aggroed. Yep. This is such a stupid boss. Boss tree indeed. Okay, would be nice if your hand didn't melt into the ground. Got it loud as shit. What the hell? Did I like not deal damage? Or am I stoned? Why is this game so loud? Oh yeah, and that's the that's the thing. If he does that attack on the stairs like that, 
you want to actually be able to see some of the area where you will be taking damage which is just wonderful oh shit did I just get tree planted tree planted ha jokes we got those okay butt slam time down we go so stupid <laughs> his boss ah uh, pretty good you remember when I was doing this with a crossbow that was the stupidest thing I've ever come up with like how did I think it was possible to do this game with a crossbow only That's definitely a stoned idea. God, game, you're so loud. Eat shit. Is that not a thingy? I swear there's one more that you can burst. You can kill this boss without having to engage the... Yeah, or almost not having to engage the hand. Did you see that expert? Okay, it's dead. Ginkgo tree, they get a sickness that results in seeping pus like... Uh, that sounds gross. But cool at the same time. Yeah, the, the crossbow... I don't know what I was thinking. GG easy, exactly. Hopefully this is how well... Oh, this is a great shield, isn't it? Actually, it's not. It has high stability, though. Wool rocket. Although having a non 100% block shield might be a terrible fucking idea for this. We'll switch back. I won't get rid of I won't get rid of this one. And that was very easy. Yeah, it did, it was basically unplayable. It's just it works for the other games, not for this one. Just not how this game is built, you know. Speaking of replayability, you know, and build variety. Interesting. That's really interesting. All this like stuff around trees. There is like a thing uh, in Mexico where corn will get the certain fungal infection and the result you can actually eat not the fungus but like the infected corn and it's like a delicacy. Apparently it's really good. Okay, we can get some bullshit. Cars HP with success. See, that might be a good one for this. Yeah, that might be like a really good one because I'm going like balls to the walls aggressive. Uh, anyways, so Pontiff's left eye is actually pretty. It's like a 600 IQ move for sure. Two levels uh, strength and endurance. Okay. I think... I think we have come to the end of this first session here. Uh, 
almost at the two hour mark just no point in starting anything else now yeah this is really fun so far uh first of all zero deaths second of all parried everything so i think this playthrough is going extremely well and will continue to go this well uh in the next episodes as well hopefully anyways yeah i'll wrap it up here the stream is gonna continue pick up right where we left off on monday at 9 p.m i'll get all this set up with the chat and i'll get the alerts set up as well and all that yeah off to a good start i think we're i'm having fun i'm enjoying this game actually playing it like this yeah thank you guys for watching thanks for all the comments it's it was nice chatting to you hope you stay around for monday as well daughters of ash tomorrow as promised this vod will go up eventually so yeah thanks for watching and peace out see you guys next time goodbye